How's it going guys? This is Najam. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to review the GXI Vision USB camera, 2 megapixels, 1080p, 60fps with a zoom lens. Now, this is a very generic camera and I bought this to use as a webcam. This is a USB camera with a lens attached to it. And I wanted this one because uh, I can move this further away and then zoom in and I can also have it closer and then zoom out. Now this is a bio company called GXI Vision. Now there's like so many different variations of these cameras because all it really is is a sensor um, that's just strapped to a PCB I'm assuming and it just has a processor on it. And then you can just attach a lens to it and then you can get as you know sort of like a webcam sort of type of footage. Um, it's a very generic USB webcam. It works on a USB 2 interface, but I have noticed it doesn't work as well as a USB 3 interface. So I plug it into a USB 3 and it does seem a bit more smoother. So this this video will be in 1440p 60fps, but this webcam does only 1080p 60fps. And I bought this because it does 1080p 60fps. If you want, you can find different ones there's so many different ones and they do different different things um, just make sure if you do want to buy one of these cameras that you can look in the description look in the specifications to pick the right one because there are very small differences and there are like so many different versions of these cameras so you can get one like ultra hd but it only does like 5 fps or something you can get one in that one only does 30 fps um, so many different ones so this one i picked because it does 1080p 60 uh, specifically and i do use this for live streaming uh, this is my main webcam that i use um, instead of using the built-in camera or anything this much this one works much better than that um, so as you can see it's probably like you can tell it's 60 fps um, so let's go talk about some of the specifications so this uh, comes with the various different lenses you can choose from um, i went with the standard one which is 2.8 to 12 millimeter zoom lens uh, it's the equivalent of like a 10 millimeter i believe and maybe like a 12 millimeter to 50 millimeters i'll show you this in action so i'll zoom in and then you can see how much it zooms in um, now it does have a cs lens mount i believe which means you can unscrew the lens and then put a different one on um, this camera it does 10 ep 60 fps in most in jpeg uh, it also does like um y u y 2 uh, but it only does 5 fps in 10 ep um, so but you can if you want you can use a much lower resolution um, to get a 30 fps footage from from the different format um, i believe the sensor is a cmos one of 2.8 and it's two megapixels resolution so it's basically 1080p for a 1080p uh, stream the pixel size is 2.9 um by 2.9 um now this is a two megapixel camera with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 um that might be a bit wrong but that's what it says in the description um the model number is gxi vision s2m03w and it has the um, sc200 ai sensor i don't know what any of them is but that's just the model number of the sensor um it comes with a 1.5 meter usb cable it's attached to the back you can uh, take it off now this is a uvc compliant uh, usb webcam so it will work with the linux or anything else you plug in and this is a very generic and very easy to use webcam it, it will work the lens it only has like manual focus on it now it's powered completely by the usb port um, it consumes 750 milliwatts from the usb port and the lens on it is completely manual this is a completely manual system in fact this camera is so simple there's no indicator light on it to tell you it's working or not there's no like privacy cover uh, there's none of that there's no microphone there's nothing like that it's just a camera with the lens in front and that's all you get so there's nothing special there's no autofocus any of that um, and there's no like automatic zoom so uh, motorized zoom you're gonna have to zoom in on your by yourself the price for this is 35 pounds and if you look around it you can see it's basically like tiny it's a tiny little box um, and um, it's kind of cute actually um, and it just has a usb cable on the back um, the, the build quality is pretty good these are like decent built cameras um, as, I'm, as I mentioned it's UVC compliant so it's just easy plug and play it will work I'm using this on Linux right now now I did have this um, webcam above my monitor in the middle um, and it gives you a really cool effect uh, because you can have the alignment so that when you're looking at the left screen it's at the left and when you're looking at the right 
um, you just see the light. It's like I'm facing the um, screen capture, and that's really cool. Um, and I achieved that effect. It's very nice, but I think it was not convenient for me, so I've moved it back into this position. This is a bit closer. Now, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm actually going to zoom out, and I'm also going to zoom in to show you what this lens can do. Now, this is manual focus, so it will go out of focus but i've got it like the way i've just set it up it just seems to be working fine for me but i plan on changing it after i've done this recording because i want to use it in portrait orientation now this doesn't have auto rotate or anything so you're not going to hear any of that i'm going to have to adjust it manually in obs to uh, make that adjustment but let's go ahead and uh, uh, zoom in and zoom out it's got two knobs on it with the um, the dial so you can tighten it and it's manual focus so one is the focus and the thing with this camera is um if I focus back in, it zooms in with the focus, so that's too wide, it's not going to focus, and then there we go. <coughs> so I think this is the widest it goes, and it does have some issues with lighting, like it does weird things sometimes. Um, it does have auto exp uh, auto exposure adjustment, white balance, white balance adjustment, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, in OBS, you do get a lot of settings. It has backlight compensation as well, which um, I have turned on. It just does some weird blinky stuff sometimes with the white balance, and uh, I think it's because the white the wall is white, so that's why it confuses a bit. But this is the widest it goes. It's very very wide, too wide for me, uh, and it just doesn't even focus. Um, past that bit. Um, so there we go so that's the widest it goes and as you can see it's adjusted the exposure to uh work better b b based on the lighting and what it sees uh now what i'm going to do is zoom in so this is the widest you can like if, if i move it a bit down you can see my whole table and then you can see the laptop over here and you can see the background stuff so it's very wide i think it goes to about approximately 12 millimeters or like 15 millimeters um, so it's very very wide let's go ahead and zoom in now, as you can see um, obviously uh, it changes the um, focus when you're zooming in um, so both of the rings I'm gonna have to like hold it and then yeah it focuses uh, again you know it's a uh, uh, it focuses very very close so you can get this even closer I think it's basically focuses on the lens so that's the lens actually i'm touching the lens uh, and you can see all the stuff on my finger that's disgusting um, but as demonstration purposes um it's a bit finicky with the, the dials but you can zoom in further uh, let's go all the way in i'm going to zoom in all the way and then i'll move this you can see my beautiful face yeah this is um so i can you can move the camera further away and then so you can get a more natural look but this is a bit too tight for me so i'm going to zoom out and let's go ahead and do that and zoom out a bit more so you can adjust it and then it's zoomed out and it works really well uh, with you know 60 fps um, it does do some weird things sometimes but once you get the lighting right it works really really well now in OPS settings if you leave the frame rate to unchanged um, it's not going to be in 60 fps um, it does some automatic like color correction and everything so i think it does that to look better and the footage does look much much better because it looks more nicer uh, if you use it in 60 fps mode or if there's like certain amount of lighting um, is actual 60 fps like right now and the lighting is good but you can see the green greenness in the shadows the shadows look a bit greenish you can see from there it they have some sort of a green tint um i don't know what the heck that is uh, you can use a lookup table to fix it um but beyond this point because of the lighting it there's no information that's coming from the sensor so it's just noise and i'm assuming that's what it is um but the other thing is maybe this is just a linux i think um sometimes the settings don't apply to it so that's weird but um okay it's a it's a very cool camera let's go ahead and conclude this review so let's talk about what i like about this and what i don't like so what i do like is that it's plug and play is very easy to use a there's no messing about it just works you just plug in and they works it hasn't given me any issues as far as working and the quality is pretty good now it will depend on the lenses you can get different lenses you can even get like a prime lens which i'm assuming has a faster aperture than this zoom lens 
but that's an option um so as far as the quality goes and the way it works it's very easy and very nice uh, there are some things i don't like about it so um mainly the uh, quality uh, as far as like the colors go uh greenness in the shadows uh, obviously here uh, and it does have some bad colors sometimes uh and it gets confused with the white balance um and then also the exposure because there is backlight compensation on this but it goes weird sometimes so it kicks in when it needs to when the frame rate is uh, leave unchanged so it does whatever it needs to but if you leave it on 60 fps it's going to be locked because um it needs the light to get the um, shooter speed so then that doesn't happen but it gets confused as well but apart from that for the most part it's been working really really well but if you have any questions ask me in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and um, i will see you guys in another video